Hey, hi! Hello. Where do memes come from? Twitter? Instagram? No, you thought. They come from Reddit, where all good internet content comes from. Now, if you ever go on Instagram and you scroll through all those juicy, delicious memes on there, a lot of those memes, or pretty much all of them, came straight from Reddit. There's a bunch of different meme communities on Reddit. They all have their own little shtick, their own little gag that they do. I, myself, I'm a particular fan of uh, dank memes and uh, deep fried memes. I love a good deep fried meme. They are so good. I love a stupid fucking deep fried meme. What I want to talk about is me IRL. By far the most popular meme page on Reddit. Now in me IRL, a lot of people just shit post for the most part. They post stuff like the bread meme and they'll post uh, a lot of it is Wednesday my dudes. Now you know, everyone's having a pretty good day on me IRL. It's just a normal day there. There was a guy by the name of waterguy12 that made a post here that said, I will be several hundred miles from Wi-Fi until August 14th. Comment my username on any good meme so I don't miss out. And uh, now for some reason, everyone on the, on the sub just went fucking crazy with this. The post itself has 39,000 likes, 39,000 upvotes. For like two and a half weeks, everyone was just commenting, ooh, water guy, check this out. They were tagging him in every single post that was on the site. Someone even made a bot that would tag him in every single post automatically. Now while he's away without Wi-Fi, you know, everybody else starts picking this up. People start hopping on the trend and people start making their own Guy12 accounts. Like there's a, I, I remember I saw one that was Drake and Josh Guy12 and his, he made a post that said, greetings, I am Drake and Josh Guy12. I'm here to, <laughs> to remind you to always upvote Drake and Josh. There's another guy called Ocean Guy12. And he said, I'm Ocean Guy12 and I just kind of wanted to cash in on the trend while it lasts. Look, this guy's whatever Guy12. <laughs> I am whatever guy 12. Upvote or downvote, I don't really care. I can't defeat anyone anyways. Look, look at all the names that they have for these fucking guys. My god. But then, he came. Fire guy 12. He began terrorizing me IRL with posts like this. I am fire guy 12. Water guy 12 isn't here to save you. Upvote this post or I will set me IRL ablaze. It just, he goes on a rampage, acquiring more votes and posting stuff like, You fools! I require more upvotes or else Water Guy 12 isn't here to save you. Terrorizing the whole sub. What were people doing? The whole world was in chaos. But people wouldn't go down that easily. No, there were brave souls like Plant Guy 12 who fought back with memes. Now people like Plant Guy were fighting with memes, others were upvoting to pledge their allegiance to Water Guy. Everyone was picking sides in the brewing Guy 12 war. But now, the wait is over. Water Guy 12 is back. After so long, he finally came back. He posted this. Riding a train, wake him to discover I have become a meme. Not just a little inside meme, but a full-blown Reddit meme. I currently have over 3,200 notifications, and the numbers keep bugging a bit. Now he's finally back. The final battle can commence. Water guy versus fire guy. Good versus evil. Hey, water guy 12, show me what you got. But water guy's winning, look. Please stop! I'm done! I won't last any longer! Please let me live! End him! End, End him, him, Water, water guy. guy! Eventually, they came to a ceasefire. Official ceasefire declared in loving memory of Fernando. Water Guy won! Me IRL is safe yet again! Thank God, I was so worried. Everyone's happy now. All the Guy 12s can rest in peace. So that is the story of Water Guy 12 and the Guy 12 war. It was uh, basically just a giant circle jerk of dudes on the internet with nothing better to do, but not a bad time. I had a lot of fun. I thought it was fantastic. I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. Well, that's, that's the fucking video. Thank you, bye.